Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're back and we're fixing the TJ. Now if you guys watched the video from last week, and if you haven't I'll leave a little link up here if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but the TJ wasn't running right, it kept stalling out uh, whenever we would take our foot off the accelerator. We got that fixed, a nice and uh, easy fix with that one. Um, so I decided to drive to work uh, this week, just to make sure there wasn't any issues in case someone wanted to come by it. Last thing I want is something to go wrong um, or it not run right when someone's trying to buy it. More than likely they'll say no, uh, this is a pile of junk and move on to something else. So Monday morning, I was driving to work, as soon as I hit the motorway, <laughs> had death wobble. Um, so I just crept it to work and crept it home. Um, so my problem, my issue is a really easy fix, um, luckily enough. Um, if you guys are experiencing death wobble, probably one in five um, cheap owners in their life will experience death wobble at some point or know somebody that has had death wobble. There's a few different causes. Um, I'll show you what mine is in a second. If you do have death wobble, give this a go first. Uh, this is actually quite a common uh, occurrence on TJs with uh, factory steering setups. I'm running a full factory um, steering on my TJ. Sorry, there's a fly or something buzzing around. This is a factory steering setup um, on my TJ. So if you guys got a factory steering setup on yours, try this first. It's a nice, cheap, easy fix. Um, and if it's not that, take it for a drive. And if it's not that, um, we'll jump on the Jeep um, and I'll show you what else to look for. Um, but we'll grab the tools, jump, on the, jump underneath the Jeep. Um, but just before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and like button. I'm just going to habit the channel in a massive way. Allow us to grow and create better content for you guys. Maybe buy more Jeeps and more Jeep parts. So let's grab our tools and jump underneath the TJ. Alright, so we're underneath the Jeep now. So my problem lies in my track bar bolt. For some reason this keeps coming loose. Um, I did grab a just a ratchet spanner. Um, it's a 16mm socket on there. Um, and on Monday I was going through all the parts and that was, I wouldn't say finger tight, but it was loose. Uh, so I just grabbed my ratchet spanner with a 16mm socket and tightened that up. Now just with a 16mm socket, um, sorry, with a ratchet that wasn't enough to fix the problem, it was still sort of loose. So any play in that bolt will allow that bar there, runs all across there, and up to your chassis rail. So any movement in there at all will cause, will cause, sorry, death wobble. Now a couple of people say, oh just chuck a stabilizer on it, um, it will fix your problem. It will make it better, but it's like putting a band-aid on, on a on a knife wound or a gun wound. It's going to make it a little bit better but it's not going to fix your problem. The steering stabiliser will help um, will help a little bit, uh, will make it a little bit easier to steer, make it a little bit uh, better to drive but it won't fix death wobble. Now a couple of other problems as well. Um, I've had movement in my tie rod ends, uh, they were completely shot. And if those have movement in them also cause death wobble. Um, put my arm as well, if that's stuffed, like I could actually grab that and move that back and forward. Same with that. So I got those fixed, but a re reoccurring problem in mine for some reason is that bolt coming loose. So I used to go along with that ratchet um, and just tighten it up, and it wasn't enough. So grab a breaker bar, uh, something quite big. Um, I've just got a smallish one. Chuck it on there and get as much leverage is possible. So yeah, I've gone along um, on Tuesday with the breaker bar. I didn't actually have a breaker bar at home. Recommend having some sort of breaker bar in your toolkit at all times. So I went to go buy one um, and I got probably five turns out of the breaker bar where it felt completely tight with the ratchet. So five more turns out of that um, and that tightened that thing right up. So I took it for a drive and I can drive so I was having the issue uh, at about 90 kilometers an hour to 100 kilometers an hour. Um, I wouldn't be able to drive at all. It'd just be undrivable. Had to slow down to about 75, 80, uh, which is not ideal on the motorway. Uh, but had to do what I had to do to get to work. Um, but after I've done that up with the breaker bar, I can drive 110, no problems, no shaking the steering wheel, whatever. Drives like a brand new Jeep. So. Really simple fix. Um, I'd recommend trying this first if you guys have this problem. Um, 
if it's do that first um, if you get a few movements take it for a drive see how it does then if it's not that you can get um, get someone else to jump in the Jeep turn it on um, and turn the steering wheel uh, back and forth so the tires move you'll be able to see any loose components in your steering uh, now I did that and found out that my pitman arm um, here was stuff so I replaced that also my tie rod in there was stuff I could actually grab that um, and turn it back and forward so not ideal uh, replace those really easy and cheap like those are like 40 something bucks each uh, but a lot of people have problems with the pitman arm uh, sorry the um, track bar uh, now you can buy aftermarket ones that are beefier um, more solid you can go for like a um, adjustable one if you want uh, they are quite expensive I've just got a factory one that does fine off-road um, I just had to tighten up that bolt now it's like a um, what do you call it if you guys know what that, that's called it's like a nut with like a little uh, spanner on it so when you do tighten that um, it can't move you don't have to put a spanner on the other end so what we've got to do uh, grab your bracket bar and tighten that sucker up if you've got a massive one um, crank that thing down um, the bushings in it sometimes can go you can replay you can buy replacement bushings I think if you guys know also know the name of like that little bolt with the um, that little tab on it if you guys let me know leave it in the comments below and if you guys got anything to add at any point about anything uh, leave it in the comments as I was saying before guys if you guys got anything to add at all no matter what it is if you just want to say hi g'day how was your week let me know what you guys have been up to if you guys went wheeling this week or you're wrenching on your Jeep um, always fun kind of in the garage working on your own Jeep um, doing what we do best also if you guys got any ideas for any videos you'd like to see um, I can do like community posts on YouTube now because I've hit 1k subscribers um, so I'll be doing uh, like little behind the scenes things of posts and stuff like that on the community board if you guys want to check that out um, also when I can do live videos I'll probably be doing a live video every single week maybe once a week to show what I've been up to kind of behind the scenes that sort of thing but if you guys want to see a bit more behind the scenes you can check um, us out on Instagram at Cheap Jeeper. I'll try and leave, leave a link in the description so you guys can check that out. But really easy fix. All, it, all you need is like a 15, 20 dollar breaker bar. Um, you can get more expensive ones if you want. Um, like a King Chrome or uh, Tech Tools, whatever you want. Um, they are more expensive. But if you just want to fix your death wobble, um, I'm not saying this will fix your problem. But this is a good starting point. Do this first. Take it for a drive, see if this fixed your problem. This has fixed my problem uh, three times now. For some reason that bolt keeps coming loose. Um, unsure why. Um, I think it's because I was doing it with the ratchet spanner before and it wasn't getting it um, tight enough. So I've driven it, um, I fixed it on Tuesday. Uh, Monday I did it with the ratchet spanner, it wasn't quite tight enough. Had the same issue on Tuesday. Went to Super Cheap Auto, picked up a breaker bar. Um, drove it to work on Wednesday, and as I was saying before, I could drive out 110 kilometers an hour, where before I couldn't drive over like 90 uh, without having death wobble. I felt like Vin Diesel in like Fast and the Furious when he just like gets shot in the wheel and he's like just spinning out. Um, but easy fix. Try that before, as I said before. Um, as I said before, sorry. Try that first, um, and then move on to those other components like the pitman arm, um, tie rod ends, and stuff like that. Um, it's a it's a good indication. Well, it's not it's good. Um, if those things need to re be replaced, it's a good um, point to upgrade them. Um, buy bigger ones, buy beefier ones. I'm not saying do a full steering upgrade. Um, I was going to do one on the TJ, but it's so expensive um, for what I've got, the tires I've got, the lift I've got, the sort of wheeling I did in that. I didn't need like a one ton uh, steering upgrade. I could actually do. I was going to do like a budget. Um, I think like the ZJ's or something had like a thicker um, tie rod, um, so I was going to do like sort of that just so it's like a little bit beefier. Um, but sort of wheeling I did with that, I didn't need um, a one ton, so don't feel like so don't feel like you need to do that sort of stuff. Um, figure out what sort of wheeling you do first, um, then do the upgrades accordingly. I feel like um, a lot of people just see people with like big steering upgrades, big tires and stuff, and they want that, they need that. I feel like you don't need that per se, it's awesome, it's cool, 
um, but if that's the sort of wheeling you do that you require that sweet go ahead that's awesome um, but for me um, it's cheaper it's easier um, and for the sort of wheeling I do to pretty much have a stock this Jeep um, as you guys can see there I'm doing a few things on the JK which we'll have another video up next week um, but that's pretty much it for today guys nice easy fix for you guys for your death wobble um, hopefully that fixes it for you guys it really helped me out just creating the extra pressure on that bolt um, in the track bar so as always guys thank you so much for watching smash that subscribe button and like button and I'll see you guys in the next video